Go for it. All right, everybody, welcome to Joe Code. I am your host, Joe Marisi. This is Joe Code episode 70. That's a nice round number. Uh, huge congratulations to myself. Uh, so congratulations, Joe, on 70 episodes. And uh, thanks to Aaron. Yeah. And everyone here at All Things Comedy. And, and Gary. And Gary. And uh, Strider. And Chad. And JT. And everyone involved. And uh, for episode 70, uh, we do have a special guest today. Um, this guy is really uh, my partner in this thing because uh, Chad and JT have their little thing so this guy is my number two so uh, it's a pleasure to have him on I've been on his podcast a few times you guys knew that he would be coming on and uh, it's a pleasure to bring him on right now we I won't I won't make this too dramatic of an entrance but why don't I? He's tall. He's got a small dong. He's a, a master tongue darter. You know him. You love him. Strider Wilson, welcome to Joe Code. Dude, fired up to be here. Joe, thank you for that, that honest and true entrance. Honored to be here. Yeah, it's got to feel good to be here, I would think. Baby, let's go. This feels amazing, dude. And, uh... Episode 70, congrats to you, Yeah, dude. thanks, man. It's really cool. And, uh, well, I just want to say, uh, you are wearing shorts today. This is a professional podcast. Yes. So, uh... That is disrespectful. I yeah, I don't know if you... And they're, they're periwinkle. <laughs> the color of them is periwinkle, dude. I just learned that from my fiance. Is that what that is? It's not blue? No. I catch a lot of flack for these shorts. Well, dude. that's like a preppy kind of color. Exactly. Periwinkle. What a, yeah, why am I not in Connecticut wearing these right now? Dude? Yeah, what yeah. are you doing over here? This is so cal. Dude, I got like, yeah, I'm giving these shorts jeans energy, the jeans treatment. We're like, I'm, this is probably day five of me. No, it's 90 degrees out. You should be wearing shorts. Yeah, Thank we you. got We got a hot one today. Dude, toasty. No problem. Do you also have boat shoes on by chance? Oh, if I, you know, I got my on clouds. I'm all about these. I think you would like these. What is on clouds? Dude, they're Swiss engineered shoes, dude. Very comfortable. It's supposed to be like you're walking on clouds or whatever. Oh, okay. But they're nice. I think, um, I think they might be on your Christmas list from me. Yeah, I need new shoes. Yeah. I, I know you have the biggest, fattest cock, but your shoe size is like a, what, what are you, like a... It's my, not necessarily correlated. My shoe, yeah, my shoe size is actually small. People mm. try to make like a correlation. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, you're only a nine, huh?" Don't, don't say it like that because I know what you're hinting at, mm -hmm. people. When you're like, "Oh, so it's only uh that's it's all you that's it, huh?" Small feet. Mm -hmm. What else is small? Exactly. My, yeah, this maybe might be... my maybe my brain. Right? I don't know. Not my. Not, not what you're thinking. It ain't small. It's been verified here by myself and some ladies and your bros. Yeah, and my bros. I've never yeah. seen it, but I trust it. I trust it. I have so much faith in that. Yeah. You know, it's you like should. something I would go to battle over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'd be you like, can. I, and I would you be like, should. if someone said Joe's hog was small, I'd be like, hearsay. You're saying yeah. I would go and try to conquer their yeah. lands. Don't let the size nines fool you. And don't let my size 11 and a half fool you. Yeah, I need... Because I have a small, small, fucking small fucking penis. Yeah, see? 11 and a half, you would think, man, this guy... Man, what's going on down there? Mm -hmm. It's going to be something amazing. Mm -hmm. Probably something I've never even seen. Mm -hmm. But... And, but it turns out something you can't even see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's great. Yeah, I'm wearing. Yeah, I need new shoes. Bad. I'm wearing my my valet shoes. Oh, dude, they're canvas brand. No offense. I'm, I'm not trying to throw out. It's but I need. You know, I I don't need valet shoes when I'm not valeting. Exactly, and it's tough to find a valet shoe because every running shoe is like fucking neon and bright and like orange. And yeah, I'm like not into all these colors. Yeah, what is that? 
I don't. Maybe it's like to keep like so cars can see you or something. I'm like, don't you wear like who's looks at someone's shoes when they're running early? No. Valet, you need a black shoe or like a white shoe. You want a solid yeah, I'd color. Yeah, like these are shoe. brown and white. No, but the yeah. thing is, like you're saying, yeah, because I would always, I remember, it. I would always go shopping for, I'd want a, like a running shoe or just like a walking shoe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's all these neon yellows and oranges. I don't want that. No. So then I just end up getting like a basic, like a black or a gray shoe and it's stupid. And people are like, oh, this is bad, bad. Your shoe game's bad. I know. Well, you, you know what? I don't want to glow. No. I, I don't want to run around glowing. Exactly. Exactly. And two things. What am I, a freaking highlighter? Exactly. You know, dude. what am I making notes on uh, things? Where am I? What am I at? Uh, uh, EDM festival? Yeah. Huh? I'm what am I on dancing. Molly right now? Yeah, that's nuts. I'm just trying to walk around the streets. We should get, valets should get shoe deals. You know how like, like Jordan has the Jordans? Yeah. There should be the Marisi. There should be the Stripe. Dude, we should go into business and design the optimal valet shoe. Yeah, I would love that. You know, something you can drop luggage on, but it's also light so it won't hurt your knee, has a good cushion. Yeah, oh, so you're talking steel toe? Maybe something. Maybe not as heavy as steel, but something that will help you from a bag. Yeah, if a bag, like a bag falls falling. on there, yeah, you got yeah. You know, a little reinforced. Not, it's not heavy machinery, but... Cause, and then it needs to be light enough so you can move. So I think there's a market for this. Maybe not steel toe, but maybe hard plastic toe. Yeah, hard plastic toe, yeah. exactly. Hard plastic toe... You know, someone's laptop gets loose or, you know, someone's toomey comes down on your big toe. You got to look out. Yeah. Uh, Louis Vuitton to the pinky toe could really cost you a shift. <laughs> and then number two, have you seen these Balenciaga shoes? Do you know Balenciaga? I know the brand. Yeah. I don't think there's anything they have that I would ever buy. Exactly. They're the stupidest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Now, look, I'm, I'm trying to get into fashion and I hate them. Dude, they're just like big they're the yeah. running shoes. Any, anything that's on a billboard, a, 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 whatever brand is on a billboard around Los Angeles, I, it's something that I'm probably never going to wear. Correct. And every time you see someone on that billboard, where the fuck does anyone ever dress like that? Yeah, no. Like what is it? The Met Gala every day for no, you? No, yeah. Where What's going, going on? Yeah, you wouldn't even go to Erewhon dressed like that, which is the <laughs> trendy uh, grocery store here in L.A. that I used to frequent, but now I go about twice a month because oh. I'm not spending eight fifty for a coffee. So. Dude, it's insane. You literally, it's the problem is, is it's so dank. Well, yeah. The quality is dank. Bro, I went to the deli and I was like, I'm going to go to the deli. Like you go to a supermarket deli, you get yourself a hot dinner at a regular supermarket. Like it's not that expensive. Bro, I got chicken, broccoli, and some like dank ass like fingerling potatoes. Yeah, it was at twenty eight dollars. It was twenty eight dollars. They weighed it. No. It's exactly what it was. It was twenty eight dollars. I love. It. I was I like, are you kidding me, dude? Well, and then the, and then the other thing too is like at the hot bar, like even the the like they don't have the prices listed anymore mm -hmm. for the cough for coffee. Like the it's fluctuating every day on the coffee price. Yeah, I'm not getting coffee. This there. is crazy. You got to wear like a robe. You got to like just be coming from a silent retreat to get in there. <laughs> Every dude there looks like Jared Leto. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I could go there anymore. Sad, dude. This is the, you know, the world's changing, dude. These are the things that we're losing. Yeah. Cause I'm know? trying, I'm, I'm going to be moving back to that neighborhood too. So it's a great neighborhood. I, I need to, uh, I mean, I'm going to want to go there. Maybe I'll get an $18 smoothie once a month, but... Yeah, exactly, dude. Smoothies, dude. What a treat. How good are smoothies, dude? They're good. I, I don't get them enough. I forget about them. I know. I love them. I want food, and then I'm like, oh, I'd, you know, I need something to pack a punch. Yeah, well, yeah, I used to do a lot of protein shakes when I was doing a lot of sprints. Yes. But I haven't done protein shakes in a while, but yeah, and then it's, every now and then I would do a smoothie, but... Mm. Going on a smoothie date, dude. Taking my fiance on a smoothie date, so nice. Anyone, any, any time. Look, you know, when it comes to love making, sometimes I'll be like, "Hey, what are you thinking?" A lot of times, nah. When it comes to, hey, you want to get a smoothie? Yeah. Every time. Yep. Oh, nice. <sighs> Smoothies are better than what sex. Do you guys get a lot of peanut butter in there? And... I love adding peanut butter. Yeah. I get the peanut butter with blueberries. She always gets like a green one. You know, yeah. like a mango or a pineapple. Yeah, I'm not into the green. Nah, it's not my style. Yeah, I want a nice like dirty yellow and yeah. a little brown in there. Like, 
yes. sort of the banana and peanut butter is really it coming at me. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I can put peanut butter on everything. Yeah, everything. I. Uh, <laughs> me too. My fucking Thanksgiving dinner, I'll put peanut butter on there. Disrespect my mom's turkey. <laughs> Just put some things, put some freaking PB yeah. all over it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, you could spread a little creamy. Yeah, forget mm-hmm. the gravy. Just spread a little creamy GIF on there. And, and you know, the holiday season's right around the corner. Joe, I've been really getting into optimal shit these days. I learned, I, my fiance used the word optimal the other day. Yeah. She's oh, uh, like oh. autumn? Yeah, like Okay, autumn. I thought you were saying optimal, like oh. optimum. Uh, yeah, I'm into optimization as well. Oh, okay. That's why I jack off in the morning. So I really just clear the hopper and be ready to rock. <laughs> But I'm in autumnal shit because um, my fantasy team's 0-6. Oh, okay, so, so you just, just got to forget about that now. Correct, yeah. that's gone. So now <laughs> I'm just going, hey, how, how, what am I going to do that's rewarding? I'm really getting into the fall. Yeah, the fall's great. Well, yeah, the thing is, well, in L.A., you don't really have... It's 95 today. It changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking you don't sweltering. Really have fall. There's no leaves changing. Yeah. Dude, it's all just a... It's just hot always, and then sometimes it yeah. rains and people lose their mind. But, like, you could make it festive, like, around your apartment. Mm-hmm. Is that what you guys are doing? Decor? It's very festive. We've got two tiny pumpkins. Oh, yeah. I love those tiny pumpkins. We have candles that yeah, smell. Yeah, you like tiny things. I do, yeah. You yeah. know, they say the best things come in small packages. Right. They say that. Is it true? I don't know. But they say it. Yeah, I think it's You know, true. my fiance told me my dong was nice the other day, right? <laughs> Well, hey, it's, if it's nice, that's good. You want it to it's look good. nice, yeah. But I want her to be wild. It's got to be nice looking. Yes. You could, know, now that you say it that. it could be ugly. That's true. It's a balanced, it's just like a very strong, like, you know how they, like, you know how they have miniatures, like, of like, you go to like a business center and yeah. it's like shrunk down and it's like, here's this building and like little people and little benches. Oh, yeah. Like my dick is to scale small. Like, it's a nice aesthetic. Like, I think it would be, like, what a big cock would look like, but just, like, the scale. But the, like, yeah, in a glass case. Yeah, I like that. Kids, you look at it, but not my dick. You know, that, maybe that was a weird place to take that, but... No, I, I, think kid, it I, makes, to like, I think that makes sense to the yeah. crowd. Yeah. I think they get it. Yeah. It's a smart audience. We won't... We don't underestimate the audience of, of our pods. We have a very erudite audience. Yeah. So speaking of small things, though, I went to look at this apartment and and i don't know square footage at all what the fuck is a square foot i don't know Get yeah i don't know what it is Just tell me what size the pla- small medium or large <laughs> the place was listed at 300 square feet now i know that that sounds small sounds small. smells like a gazebo were you looking at a gazebo <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was as a hammock is there a barbecue <laughs> yeah so yeah and it's listed as 1295 Three hundred square feet, yeah. twelve ninety five. So I'm like, so I'm like, maybe it's not as small as I think. I have to go see this in person. What is the frozen section at R one? And it's and it's a block away from where my old place was. So I'm like, okay, I love that street. I'm just gonna go check this out, see what it is. Uh, it was a prison cell. Yeah, it was it was a disgrace. I I walked in and I was like, <laughs> oh no. I just let that out. No, no. It came with another dude? There was yeah. just another dude yeah, in there? Yeah, there was a guy there with long hair <laughs> long so- and high socks. Yeah, it was... Uh, and nothing else. <laughs> just naked wearing postman-style socks. Just hanging out. Yeah. And it was so weird, too, because the bathroom was like a good size... There was a good size shower. Huh. I'm like, oh, the, sh- the shower's nice. You walk in, you saw like the sink and the, the refrigerator. I'm like, okay. And then you turn, and then it's just... There's nothing. The, the, stu- the studio is bigger that we're in right now now I, I was, yeah can i you know what can i uh sit, get set up here can i you guys mind if i crash yeah it's just the ac yeah. ac works very well in here yeah i think i could work you could easily can make this work if you here. pop a boner you might injure some of the equipment but it is true yeah there's cameras and mm-hmm. gels and stuff so a lot of electronics i have to be careful but yeah but yeah now i know what square footage is so yeah i mean dude that's 300 like, is like a bedroom maybe you got to get like a, yeah, studio is probably the right call. Because a bachelor, I think, has like a kitchenette, and a studio actually has like a kitchen. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I lived in a bachelor before, and now I was looking at a two-bedroom with uh, friend Graham. Oh, yeah. And nice. then, uh, 
Well, this place was, it's all carpet, though. Where's everybody at on carpet these days? Are we doing carpet? I'm out. Easier yeah, to keep the hardwood. Why? Yeah. Because of the cleaning? Cleaning and then the air quality, you know, stuff gets trapped. Who the uh, hell knows was there before you? What's getting trapped in there? You know, dust mites and all sorts of stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, just, you know. Yeah, our old apartment had carpet. I was like, let's get out of it. Dude, the fucking guy below us with Jerry would smoke. Dude, like smoke was trapped in there. Even though it's new carpet? No, it was old carpet. Well, no, but they're saying this apartment's new carpet. Well, if it's new, then that's better. But I still think it's easier to keep, keep hardwood floors clean. Well, that's the thing. We got How much we got a vacuum? Yeah. And I and I got to buy a vacuum. I don't have one. Hardwood floors, you just buy a Swiffer. You're good to go. Well, that's much the thing. cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, hardwood floors all day long. All day. All right, fine. If you want a carpet, just put a rug down. Well, that's the thing. I want the option of putting the rug. Yeah, that's the thing. It's mm -hmm. like hardwood floor seems to be the way to go. And yeah, you're talking to the right guy. You know I love decor. Or even the fake linoleum floors or whatever. Yeah, those are fine. I don't mind. that. That's what we had at that old place mm -hmm. yeah, where exactly. you used to live that I moved into. I love that. Yeah, that a lot of the audience might not know that Joe and I lived in the same room. Not at the same time, but we lived in the same room. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we. Yeah, Did you ever hear those neighbors out. boning, like across the way? When I was staying there, those I, yeah, that I did bone. hear boning. Yeah, I heard, and I would hear JT boning. Yeah, oh yeah, I would hear that. Yeah, I heard, thunderous. Yeah, that was boning. Yeah, yeah, he's loud. He's a loud boner. Yeah, you. I would always you'd hear, hear him. I would always ah! hear him. Yeah, you'd hear him go. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like <laughs> grunting like a fucking linebacker. <laughs> Is like this guy throwing around a kettlebell in there? Yeah, What's going on? Hey, good good tackle for loss. <laughs> you just make a sack. Yeah, dude. JT's running the JT's fucking got dime one package. And a half sacks on the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on in there? Uh, fucking seven or eight hurry ups. Jeez. Hey, do you mind if I do? Uh, this sucks. I got to do my segment still. I would I love mix that. In. Please do. I'm fucking would be delighted There's to. A, hear this about sucks. This. Joe code, and then this is great. Is what we do. So I got to do a uh, quick. This sucks for the day. Love it. So uh, this sucks is sloppily pouring and then sloppily handing me a Guinness. Okay, if I'm at the bar and I order a Guinness, I want it poured the correct way. All right, take your time. Okay, you can still get to the other customers. You, you pour the half, you wait, you let it settle, uh, and then come back. Okay, you don't s slam the tap like it's a Bud Light, okay, and then come back and then, like, throw it at me. Also, you don't, you don't throw the Guinness, all right? The Guinness is a nice set it down, enjoy this beautiful Guinness, okay? So I had a bartender do that, and this really sucks, okay? Don't treat it that way all right pour it the correct way and then nice hand it to me i want some nice foam on there some nice head as they call it i mean it was it was i was almost repulsed by this it's unbelievable dude i'm imagining just a 23 year old guy that looks like machine gun kelly pouring your thing your guinness having yeah no i think idea he had blonde hair exactly blonde hair i'm out on blonde hair on dudes Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I that mean, might be very racial. That's a good. I'm uh, sorry, but I, I'm, yeah, out, I'm out on dudes with blonde hair. All right, I'm I'm in. I'm gone. I'll go along with There's that. Probably a few cool ones, but I'm basically out. Look, I love Chad. <laughs> yeah, Chad. I love the guy. I was He's the man. Chad, yeah. He's the man. Here's the thing. You're sub twenty. If you're blonde, if you have blonde hair in a tattoo in a place that isn't just your like upper arm, yeah. I'm out. I'm out on that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, dude, that's... There's a method to pouring a Guinness. It's like, you, do you not know how to work here? Yeah, I, you that's, fucking, that's what I didn't And understand. you do appreciate this. We've been to many of Irish... I, every city we go into, you know where the Irish pub is. Yeah, yeah. I Austin, we were those. there. Yeah. When we were in Charlotte, we found one. When we were, uh, you know, in L.A., Tam O'Shanter's. You, yeah, you appreciate it. And it's like, yeah, that's why you go there. Yeah, you know? so... Otherwise, I'd just go to fucking, you know... I don't know. Yeah, I would like people to do it right. That would be nice. Um, it does suck. You're right. Yeah. And then uh, I, got, I want your opinion on this. So I was talking uh, talking comedy earlier uh, and uh, not with you, with uh, somebody else. But I was saying, because the other night at the comedy store. So like when I work at the comedy store, whatever room I'm in, I, I always am very... Uh, aware of the audience and 
making sure everyone's behaving, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. So the other night I had a couple of people tell me that I ruined their night okay. by telling them to keep quiet. No, they're at a comedy fucking. Well, yeah, show. this is how I this is how I see stand up comedy. I I see it as it's a it's a performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, you as the audience are taking in the performance. You're not you're not a part of it. So I I don't want anybody saying anything. Mm -hmm. If any if anybody says anything, I take it as heckling. Now maybe I'm a little oversensitive, but like if a comedian like says something and then you're like, yeah, you go, you tell, you go, girl, or something like that, like someone did that the other night, or like, I I don't like it, and I tell them mm -hmm. to be quiet. No, I, I'm with you. No. I might I might be jumping the gun or whatever, but. I think you're definitely on the more extreme side of that. Like, that's a positive yell out, but that also is for, <clears throat> it is a little bit distracting. You know Yeah, what I mean? it still throws people's timing totally. off. And you kind of have to address it. Like, you know, and it's, you know, depending on who the comedian is, it might go, it might go well. Like if it's, you know, like if fucking Bill Burr's up there, like you don't need to step in and say that, like Bill Burr will handle that. Well, he'll, he'll yeah. Just... And then there are comedians that... Like they kind of welcome, not welcome it, but they're they're no, actually some do welcome yeah. like audience interaction. There are like crowd work comics that'll play off that, but like you're not going to step in on that if someone yeah. Part see, of I thing. know yeah. who does that, but I if I know it's a comedian that doesn't do that, which it which are the majority of comedians. There's only a few like correct of those crowd work comics. Correct. But, so I step in there. And I just walk over to him and, 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 I, and I say, get up. <laughs> no, no, I'm very... <laughs> no, I'm very polite. I, because I've learned... Because I used to be a dick. And I didn't mean to, but I, I don't know. I just, because the way I come off, I have to be very careful with my words and how yes. i say things you have to cop energy big time yeah cop. so i just <laughs> yes. the, yeah you say this you're like they think you're going to call them out in a baseball game or something yeah so i'm just like guys please if you could keep it down um there's no talking and then and then yeah. sometimes they'll just give me a sad face like, <laughs> like they'll give me a sad and then the others are like oh okay yeah yeah we get it yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm not I'm not telling you not to have fun. I'm saying, you know, just don't talk. Like, yeah, still laugh, have a good time. But, you know, this is a performance. It's not an interaction. Yeah, they're not. At, so I want people to understand that. And this idea of them saying, no, I'm fully on your side. You know, the get up is gold. I mean, I would use that. Yeah. Put, that <laughs> put that in the arsenal. But, like, if someone goes to a museum and they're like, no, I like to enjoy the museum while, like, having a full out loud conversation like no or like being in the, being in the library like no i like to listen to music in the library like pretty loud like no yeah. there's an etiquette you are in a place that has etiquette yes. you don't go to a golf course and like you know fucking whatever it would be like ride a bicycle right like i like to ride my bicycle everywhere it's like okay great but not here dude. <laughs> yeah you know that you're yeah. fucking taking in a show you're in a library you're quiet you're at a comedy show like yeah you can lean over and talk to your buddy that's fucking funny that's true well yeah no I, tell people, yeah, I tell that. people to whisper yeah that's fine yeah like, but yeah there are people that'll have like a full-on conversation obnoxious. i'm like guys come on no, dude, I, I was doing a, we did a bar show on Encinitas the other day. And oh, like, geez. There was people on the back just getting chatty. Yeah. And the way the stage was set up, you couldn't really tell, but like the energy's off because of it. And it's like, well, other people paid to see this. They didn't pay to hear. Yeah. So, well, no, the thing right. is with a bar show, that's harder to police. Yeah, that's like, really that, hard. That's the thing. When you have a bar, and then especially if the bar is like in, the bar's in the room, so there's people ordering drinks. So is already talking with that because yeah. they're ordering the drinks and it, yeah, that's just a whole, whole different thing. But I'm yeah, I'm just of the the school of like, no talking, enjoy the show. Yes, laugh, have fun, but yeah, you don't need to root on the comic like they're 
Yeah. Well, remember, <laughs> Your laughter is enough validation. It's not a rally. Totally. Do, do you remember when we were in uh, Charlotte, that one lady in the front row just kept going. Yeah, the one that got she was, kicked out. She had to yeah. get kicked out. She goes, but she was saying, I love Chad and JT, like Chad and JT, like in the middle yeah. of our, of me and your set. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, okay, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> they'll be here. Like, yeah. you know, like you're at a show, like every, all the 300 people in this room are being totally fine. Right. They the are, thing. they know what's going on. Yeah. So it's you. You <laughs> have had too many drinks. We warned you once. Yeah. Now you're out. Now you got to go over and tell them to get up. Well, with her, they even, as they said, you can sit in the back, and then she didn't even want to do that. She, yeah, so then they had to kick her out, but yeah. Brutal, brutal. Yeah, no, no I'm a fully on board with you, dude, and those people know where you're at, you know? It's a saying sometimes, know where you're at. But there were times at the it's comedy etiquette. store when people would be too drunk, and like a couple years ago, I, I would I would get mad because they wouldn't listen. I maybe already warned them, but I would I would say... All right, get the fuck up and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you got to sometimes. And then they would tell the manager, and you know, they'd say, "Don't, you can't talk like that to people." Oh well, too bad. Yeah, exactly. Not apologizing. No. Get the for f- a drunken idiot that also snuck into the show. Sometimes people would sneak in. Yep, yep. Get out. <sighs> you better buy a drink if you sneak in, and I don't see you buy a drink. Then I see the waitress come up, and you still don't buy a drink. You're out. If you sneak yeah. in, and it's a light night. I'll make to let you get away with getting a beer. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. Let me do, uh, can I do a Joe code for this week? Fucking yes. So, yeah. So, Joe code. Yeah. While we're, uh, while we're on the topic, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say, yeah, I'll say this for the boys, but also comedy. But, yeah, folks, uh, yeah, guys, when you come to the Chad and JT shows where Strider and I are at, have fun. That's Joe code for the week. We encourage fun. You guys have a blast. Um, please don't uh, call us names while we're on stage. Call us names a- afterwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, you know, enjoy the shows, have fun, and and all comedy fans out there, you go to comedy, you go to see, you go watch stand up comedy, you have fun, you laugh. You don't need to yell out. Um, the only thing I will say, there are comics that'll be like, "Hey, do you have any questions?" or "Hey." Uh, you know, and then they'll pick on you. Then, yes, fair game. Yeah. But they've invited. That, at that point, you've been invited to do that. You you know, wait on the invitation from the comic, and then also at our shows, fun treat. Typically, at the end, we do a Q and A with the freaking four horsemen of the chillpocalypse. Oh yeah, at we which do. Point yes, we want you to. We, yeah, we want you to talk. Yeah, so. we do a Q and A. So yeah, then uh, that's the, the yeah. Then talk all you want. Fuck yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, it's exciting to be doing these shows with the fo- with the boys. Hell yeah, dude! Buckle up, Seattle. Here we come. Saddle yeah, we're coming up, to Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, I just got my flight itinerary two days uh, in advance. <laughs> well, yeah, when this podcast comes out, we'll have already gone uh, to Seattle. Okay. Um, yeah, because it'll be out on Monday. Let's go, baby. But yeah, it's um, that'll be fun. Yeah, we're looking forward to to Seattle. Um, this weekend, the 21st and 22nd of October. Hell yeah. Um, which has already passed when you listen to this episode. But It's beautiful. Whoa. So p- thanks, everyone, for coming out to the show. Yeah, thanks, guys. Said, it was yeah. a blast. It was a blast. <laughs> yeah. Sorry I bombed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I got to say, we, I haven't been on, uh, I haven't been on the going deep podcast in a bit. Yeah. What's going what's, on? Yeah. What's going on? Everyone's always like, Hey, the, the episodes with you four guys are the best episodes. Oh, really? Well, why don't you tell them Yeah, you let's know, what's go. going on? Where show, show them the ratings. Thank you. You know, pull let up, the people speak, pull up the Nielsen papers. Yep. Show them the ratings. I mean, what's going on? Yeah, I haven't been on there. Well, you've probably been on there. Are you guys doing a little bit? We did the draft. Yeah, yeah, we did the draft, and uh, they're fun. But yeah, baby, well, I, it's always the biggest treat when we're all together. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been on s- since I've been back. I don't think. Really? Yeah. Did they have you on on a welcome back episode though? They had to have had you on when you just got back. In no, the really? We didn't do one. What the? No, shit? I was on. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat because then people tell me that. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, I I have uh, issues with my voice, and I and I get a little Dixie cup of water. Smart. 
I got a fat fucking water. Yeah, I should here, get more, but... You can go ahead if you want to. No, it's all right. I'll be fine. But, uh... No, I was I was on the podcast when I visited the end of July. Yeah. But, yeah, I haven't been on uh, since I've been back. We need to amend that immediately. Yeah, I want to get on the podcast. Immediately, let's amend that, dude. I mean, what the heck? Yeah, what the fuck? So, um... Chad and JT, when you listen to this, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Here, you wanna you wanna do some of my emails? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I, get, I get yeah, we get emails here. I love that. And, I like uh, your I like your old school setup too. I like that you got the book. You just got the Yeah, binder, I have a book dude. and a phone. I don't have a computer. Let's go. So love that shit. Thanks. Yeah, we uh don't forget everybody, Joe Code Podcast at gmail dot com. Uh, you know, email about anything, you know, especially food, beer, and men. Those are uh, some of our favorite <laughs> topics that we like here. You like that? I love that. Yeah. I love that. All right. This one's uh, coming in from Nick. Sup, Joe. If you were at your standard salad bar, what is your salad looking like? What do you like and not like about the salad bar experience? Do you even utilize the salad bar if it's an option? Would love to know. Uh, that's a great question, Nick. Yeah, I haven't seen a nice salad bar in a while. Mm. I feel like they are coming back. So we were talking about Erewhon. I used to go to that one all the yes. time. Yes. But yeah, my salad is always looking... Uh, yeah, I, I typically... If I'm picking my lettuce, I would typically... If I'm building the salad, I would go iceberg. Mm. Maybe some romaine in there. And then I'm always throwing, if there's grilled, uh, you know, like some nice shredded chicken available, I want to throw chicken on there. Uh, I like chickpeas. Yes. On a salad. Yes. Big chickpeas, bacon bits. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I do like cucumbers. And then I like maybe, and then I always liked this combination. I like I like two dressings on a salad. I, I don't do one. Whoa. No, I want two. I want mi I want I want to mix. Whoa, I it's like pizza style for a salad. I like mixing uh, ranch and Italian. Oh, that's not too crazy. Yeah, it's a nice mix. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, yeah, I utilize the salad bar. I I do like to utilize it. Thanks, Nick. That's a great question, dude. At work, va uh, valet, we have a dank salad bar. Yeah, I would think dank. so. Dank. And, you know, because you don't know whatever they're serving the hot meal, it's going to be a hit or miss and most often a miss. But, dude, <laughs> the salad bar is dank. I'm just, I'm with you. Iceberg romaine, get kale out, get the spinach out. Don't want, I mean, it's healthy, but I want the cooked spinach. Otherwise, it will drill my stomach. Yeah. Then I'm going garbanzo. I will eyeball the meat. Absolutely. I'm a balsamic vinaigrette guy. Yeah, I'm, a da I'm down. I'm a balsamic vinaigrette guy all, or Italian. I like that. And then uh, I like beets, bro. I put beets on there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I like see, I, I never was a beets guy. They're good, especially if they're diced. Ooh, anything diced, I like that. So it's already like bite size. Yeah, that Get works well mouth. for a salad. Yeah, and uh, I don't want to be doing doing too much cutting up with the salad. Exactly. Let's let's get this puppy in my gullet and. Pet peeves when people fucking use the scooper and put it in the other thing. It's clearly this is the scooper oh, for the thing. Mixing. Yeah. The, if, you, if there's yeah. cottage cheese and then that now gets on my tomatoes, I don't want that cottage cheese. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. No thanks. Yeah. So, you know, don't be an animal. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. So, I, I'm all about salad bars. Claim Jumper used to have a dank salad bar. Claim Jumper. It's like the Cracker Barrel, but of California. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah. Aaron, you skipping the salad bar or are you hitting it? I'm skipping it. Okay, yeah, fair Whoa. game. Hey, you know, in Whoa. college, I used to, I used to skip the sca salad bar all the time. I yeah, I, I never was a salad guy till maybe late twenties. Yeah, I didn't do it. Wasn't interested. I hear you, but then you get a little older and you go, you know what? I want something light. I want something yeah. light. I want to be able to keep moving today. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna have to move laterally later. So salad helps me do that. Yeah. So, uh, all right, we got one here from Oliver. He says, hi, Joe, currently listening to episode 69. Bummed, bummed to hear you won't be at the Boston show with Chad and JT coming up in November. 
Boston needs Joe and his code. What can we do to make this happen? Take care, Oliver. <clears throat> P.S. I play Pick'em with my GF all the time, inspired by you and JT. So Pick'em, coffee or the Chicago Bears? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the Chicago Bears, baby. You know it. But um, this season? This season, Chicago Bears yeah, or coffee? Yeah, I'm still picking the Bears. All right. So, yeah, no, I, yeah, I guess, uh, well, I, yeah, I assume, because you were saying that too, like you're not coming to Boston. No, because yeah. it's two days before New York, so I figure you guys are going straight from Boston yeah, to New straight. York. Yeah, it's straight. Maybe then, we get a GoFundMe and just get you out to Boston, dude. And then the New York shows, yeah, they want Greg and Hannah on there because that's our New York friends. They're so, awesome. They're awesome. Yeah, so they'll be on those shows and. Yeah, I mean, I would just go to Boston, yeah, because it's not, they're not doing those shows, right? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, if someone wants to buy me a flight in a hotel to Boston for... Dude, just stay with me, bro. Just get Joe the flight. Let's go. Get him the flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it happens. Yeah, go. I'll, I, yeah I, I would go to Boston and then fly back myself. I don't have to go to New York. I would look, cause I've been to New York a bunch of times. Like, yeah. Don't need like, to go back. I've been to New York like four or five times. Get into Boston. Get a crab cake. I've never been to Boston. I would love to get to Boston. Yeah. The lobster, whatever the fuck they have in Boston. So, and you know what? I, I do need to get water. Out of, you know, my throat is drying up. Get some water. So I'll be right back. Strider, talk to the I'll hold down the man. ship. Look, Joe's a beast. We got to get him on the pod. Going deep. We got to get him out to Boston. He's back in L.A. You know, Joe finds a city, and he can get lost there. He got he was in Austin, he was valeting out there. You know, he was parking SUVs underground, doing making the wrong choices. You always park SUVs up top, backed in, not under a tree. Okay, if it's got a roof rack, you're done, you're toast. So we gotta get him out to all these cities, and you know he's gotta bring a flavor. You know, the taste of Chicago needs to travel around the country, and Joe's got the biggest taste. All right, I'm back. Oh, okay, let's go. Just Thanks telling, for holding it down. What, you, what were you guys saying about me? I was, I was telling you that well, you know we got to get you to we got to get you to these cities, you know, and get the and get the taste of Chicago all over the country, you know. Yeah. And I also said I did criticize your valeting. I said you bar, you back SUVs underground in structure sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I'm getting a scam call. While I'm trying to read emails. Dude, can I talk about these scam calls that are going on? Yeah, sure. I'm, get, I'm getting woken up every day by these. Who has my number? Yeah, they're calling early now. Yeah, what list? Dude, yeah, they're, dude. Get, they're, they're getting aggressive. I almost want there to just to be like a, a dictator. So like, no more voting. Stop calling me about votes, dude. Just yeah. fucking shut up. Yeah. I'm going to vote how I'm going to vote. <laughs> I see the commercials. Yeah, I'm not going to be swayed by a text. Yeah, exactly, dude. Can you count on me? You can count on me meeting you in the parking lot, yeah. dude. Fucking <laughs> yeah. stop. That's great. Yeah, bro. All right, here we go. Back to the back to the emails. This is from Ty. Joe, loved seeing and meeting you in Greenville, South Carolina. You were truly the star of the show. A, a lot funnier than Strider. Oh, <laughs> This guy said that. that's hilarious that I'm having you Dude, on. Amazing. I didn't mean to say that. No, hey, that's what happens. Comedy's subjective, baby. I can take it. Not God. well, but I can. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have read that. It's... No, that's okay. All no, right. keep going. What hey, we could say? we could take What's it. What's this motherfucker <laughs> gonna say next, dude? <laughs> <He goes. laughs> Anyway, do you stand up when you wipe? I personally lean to the side. Sounds like he's got a great sense of humor. I unfortunately guy. have buddies that wipe back to front in between the legs. Yeah, I didn't know we were going there. Um, thanks for yeah. your time. Yeah, Ty, I didn't, uh, know they, I didn't know they let 13-year-olds into our show, Ty. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, hey, I stand up, man. Yeah. Hey, Ty, make a choice, win or lose. Yeah, you know I'm an I mean? adult. I stand up. Yeah, Ty. <laughs> Wait, you're an adult? You stand up? What? You stand up? To, for what? To wipe? Yeah. It's a savage maneuver, really. Why? What are you supposed to do? The poop comes together when you stand up. You got to lean and clean, baby. Oh, that's what he's saying. Lean, yeah. Yeah, lean and clean. All right, Ty, you're back in, you're back in the good graces. I used to stand up for a while. Then I got a gnarly hemorrhoid. I don't know. Now I, I use a bidet. Uh, oh, is that what? Okay, yeah. See, I never, uh, I don't know. I was never coached on it. I, I just did what... 
what ha- whatever happened. I, I don't talk about it with people. I don't it's true. Know. It's strange that we're even doing it now. Thanks, Ty. But I guess it's supposed to be, uh, all right, I guess it is something that needs to be talked about. I mean, I, you, here's the thing. Different strokes for different folks, and whatever works for you, as long as you're comfortable, that's cool. Who comes together. I've never even heard that. Aaron, have you heard about that? No, I, I've never thought that people stood. Thank you. That exactly. Exactly, Aaron. It's interesting that Joe stands. All right. Well, I got like, a lot of problems. It feels like there's a lot of <laughs> falling debris mm-hmm. potential. Could be problems. No, it's no. It, it's after they're you're clearly done. And it sounds like you have a healthy fiber in your diet to where you're good to go. You know. Yeah, maybe. I try to have a lot of fiber. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, your salad bowl order would probably lead to something very nice. I mean, this is crazy. This kind of. I, I mean, how. how People leaning? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, maybe the bidet is just the, the proper I move. love the bidet. It saves my life. It's the best. Jeez. All right. So here's from Alec. Hello, Dong Father. I was in Louisiana last week and tried boudin for the first time. It was served as fried boudin balls with pepper jack cheese inside. So when you bit into it, the cheese was melted. It was honestly pretty good. Don't really eat that much in Houston. Curious what your opinion on Boudine is. P.S. We met at a Chad and JT stand-up show at the Moon Tower Festival. <clears throat> yeah, that was in Austin. Or whatever it was called in Austin a few months ago. I was with my little brother and talked to you for a minute about how we drove down from Houston for the show. Also saw you do stand-up in Houston a few weeks after with Chad, JT, and Strider. Nice. Yeah, those were a lot of fun shows in Houston yeah. and Austin. Those were awesome. Yeah, no, I people talk about Boudin. I've never had it. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds like fun, like something I would try for sure. Yeah, uh, something stuffed with it, cheese. It sounds stuff? nice. Have you had that? I've never had it, but I would like to try it. I was thinking of like poutine. I was thinking of poutine, too. Yeah, yeah. Boudin. Yeah, what's going on? I don't here? know. It. Aaron, I'm guessing you haven't had that, have you? No, I'm looking it up right now. It's like uh, <clears throat> rice and sausage balls, deep fried. That sounds good. I mean, yeah. Come oh, on. wow. Deep fried. Yeah, that does dank. sound good. They got something like that over at Little Dom's in L.A. It's like a dank-ass mozzarella stuffed ball yeah, that's with a... like, like uh, marinara. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, well. I like how you said that. Thank you. Marinara. Yeah, we marinara. don't have to. Yeah, we don't say marinara over here. No, marinara. That's like a arancello, I think it's called, or something like that. Mm. It's like a rice and cheese ball. Yeah. Yeah, rice, cheese, and meat. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. I'd shove it up my ass. It sounds so good. It's <laughs> where I put all the best stuff. Yeah, and then lean to the side. Oh. Lean and clean, baby. All right. All right. Here's from Zach. Hey, Joe. I'm also an active young man who hates cooking and usually orders out for all meals of the day other than breakfast. Nice. That's that's where I'm at. Love it. You too? Man after my own heart. Yes. I, although I am getting into cooking with my dank fiance using fall, using squashes and gourds. We're having fun using fall, uh, you know, corn. Gourds? Like yeah, we're using gourds and shit, so it's really fun. Oh, what that is, even. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Oh, all right. Autumnal. Do you have a system that varies what you get to eat from places throughout the week, or do you usually hit the same types of food regularly? I have I have to fight the urge to get Taco Bell three times a week. <laughs> Love the pods. <laughs> yeah, dude, I... <laughs> Yeah, I mix it up for sure. Yeah, I'm always making sure I'm getting different types of food a lot. Like, but I do try and have like chicken and vegetables yeah. a few times a week. But yeah, I, I like to go to different places and mix up different meats and, you know, have like chicken, turkey, and then beef. And yeah, I try not to do, I don't want to do the same thing. You got to mix it up, you got to have a good variety. Yeah, and if you go constant, like, as dank as Taco Bell is, it's like, you know, you're, I don't know if they have the healthiest options on that menu, you know, I'm trying to mix it up like Joe said, get something grilled, you know, go to the supermarket, hit the deli there, you're still not cooking, Yeah. make you a hot plate, and it can be a relatively healthy dinner, you can get yourself some asparagus and a grilled chicken. Yeah, that's what's up. Doesn't, yeah. 
and there's also dank places. Like L.A., we're pretty lucky and spoiled with how many dank food options we have. Yeah, that's the thing. There's so many spots. And, mm -hmm. I mean, all right, this one is from uh, Zane here. Zane says, yo, listening to you talk about urinal shenanigans got me fired up because I actually opt to not use urinals as much as I can. If a toilet is available, I use it. I hate the splashback I always get. Do I have a strong stream, or am I doing something wrong? Thanks, Zane. No, I mean, yeah, you always get splashback, I feel like, on urinals. So, yeah, yeah if you're more comfortable with the toilet and uh, you can't handle the splashback, opt for that stall. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you're tall enough where you can't get splashback. Maybe you get it on your ankles. Yeah, it usually hits me in my upper, uh, uh, mid to upper calf area. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because I have such a small, short penis, it's like a sawed-off shotgun. So it goes and has a, my stream is more like spray and will really get all over the place. So I, I, I tend to pee sitting down a lot. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, yeah. see, people are doing that, too. Yeah. yeah it's too. also actually good to do at night. Sometimes guys will, like, happens to some men, especially when they're getting older, like, you'll stand up too quick or whatever. Yeah. You'll fucking pass out and knock your tooth out, so... You have to get back on Invisalign or some shit, so peace sitting down at night's tight. Also, you won't wake up your cigar. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's nice and quiet. Yeah. If you're going to opt for the stall at a public place, be a good neighbor and, and wipe that shit down when you're done. That's true, too. I was yeah. at the airport and had to drop a dooger, and uh, this guy, there was open urinals. It wasn't even busy. There was open urinals, and he was a guy who uses the stall, and he peed, and I just stared at him when he came out. I just go... Just a stare of like, why would you do that? I mean, I knew why he did it, but I was like, yeah, motherfucker. It was like only two. It was a Burbank airport, there so it wasn't that many stalls. It's like you just did that. Then I went in there, and there was piss on the thing, <laughs> and I was like, unbelievable. Well, it, it, the seat was down though, or seat down. yeah. See if you're gonna yeah, pick the fucking seat At up. At least use your shoe to pick it up. You know what I mean? Like, come on, you can use your foot and pick it up with your foot. Yeah, you can do it with your knee. Restroom. Yeah, if you don't want to yeah. touch it, you can. There's ways to get Very it off your simple. elbow. Yeah. Or just grab some toilet paper. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, don't pee on that. Yeah, you're making things worse for everybody. Savages, dude. All right, here's... Uh, I think this will be the last email for the day. Uh, this is from Terry. He says, hey, Joe, I am in the Marine Corps. All right, thanks a lot for your service, Terry. Okay. Semper Fi. And I want to thank you for the roast cameo you did of my sergeant friend the other day. Um... Oh wow, yeah, this one popped back up. I must, I maybe did I skip this one? Here, let me see, because this is from September twelfth. All right, let me read on. Uh, my group of friends saw it and we laughed about it for weeks. It was really well done. I have a question uh, about beer for you. Have you tried a Russian Imperial Stout style of beer? Being from Chicago, they're great in the coldest uh, winter months. They're heavy and typically have flavor profiles of chocolate and coffee. I recommend the old Rasputin to start if you haven't tried it yet. It is fairly, fairly popular and easy to find around the USA in liquor stores that have a good selection of beer. If you're willing to drink one on the podcast, I will send you the money to purchase it on the Patreon as a thank you and a sign of goodwill for the awesome cameo. P.S. When it comes to chicken wings, do you prefer the flat or the drumstick? Ra, Corporal Terry. All right. Hell yeah, Corporal Terry. Yeah, Terry. Yeah, no, I'm, Terry. Uh, yeah, he sent me. Yeah, this one I may have missed because he initially sent it September 12th, but then I got. He sent my, like, a little mini uh, follow up. So that, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Terry. I, um,. Yeah, I would love. I love like different seasonal beers, mm -hmm. and I feel like I've heard of the old Rasputin. Yeah, I think I've heard of it too. It sounds familiar. Yeah, I would love to try that. And stouts are dank. I mean, look, Guinness stout, right? So there's probably a good way to pour it, and that does sound nice. Coffee, chocolate, chocolatey profiles when it's nice and cool. Yeah, that is. Well, we should in the get winter, one yeah. when we're in Chicago. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, I mean, one. yeah, I, I mean, a beer on the pod. I used to do that a little bit with Gary because we recorded more at night like here i'm typically recording in the studio yeah 
in the weekday afternoons trying not to have a beer. Yeah, we don't want it to mess with our meth high either. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, midday. <laughs> We're over yeah. here yeah, in Burbank, uh, you know, uh, that's the Sun Valley. Where oh, they got the good crystal meth. A Wednesday uh, yeah. noon beer. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, and then, um, but, yeah, I would I would drink it. Yeah, I don't know, on the pod. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I will. We'll see. Sounds dank, though. Great suggestion. But, and yeah, then, I would love to have a beer again on the pod. But what it, wings? Maybe when like? I have a guest, I would do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rasputin, famously big hug oh yeah, oh, yeah. nice right. oh then i'm for sure drinking it you do you like the drumstick or oh the yeah for the wings one? um yeah. i yeah people always have that preference I, I mean if i had to choose one yeah i don't mind the i mean the drumstick there's more there hmm. so yeah i mean the flats are fun it's like just a little thing but the drumstick it's like you gotta you gotta hold big chunk of meat there i gotta agree with you and i'm not a big wings guy i'm appreciating them more and more these days um but i like the mix of drums and flats i've never ordered one or the other like it's some particular person like that it's like, oh i yeah. only want this you're yeah. getting into wings now yeah i like them i was always a chicken strips guy you know just a chicken tender dank don't have to deal with the bone just hammer it down well yeah there's great wings around too like ye rustic Inn oh yeah the best way i went there dude I'm, i live walking distance to there yeah we should go yeah i would yeah dude they're um, great wings yeah ye rustic's great it looks like you're gonna get hepatitis from doing anything in that place well yeah it's but uh it's fucking good dude. yeah it's a it's a rust yeah it's a rustic feel in there <laughs> exactly um and then we do this other thing uh where we do uh well, here, let me do a, let me do a This Is Great for this week, and then we'll get into some, uh, uh, we do, we have Aaron read the YouTube comments that we get. I love it. It's pretty fun. I love it. Um, but yeah, I want to do first, uh, This Is Great for this week, and uh, This Is Great is, uh, well, here's the thing, like, I really like college fight songs, you know, I, I find them interesting, and uh, one that I, I'm surprised I never knew it. But this is great is the University of Tennessee fight song, uh, Rocky Top. Do you know this one? No. This is a great song. It's a, <laughs> it's a fun sing-along, and uh, I, I heard it. Well, I, you know, Tennessee came into my mind because they just beat mm -hmm. Alabama, so Tennessee Huge was, upset. like, all over espn and just yeah huge upset over alabama i don't think they beat him in like 15 years and then uh yeah i'm just hearing this fight song and it's it's just going it's like rocky top you'll always be home sweet home to me good old rocky top and then they go woo rocky top tennessee and then nice. the whole, all the fans yell. It's like, it, it's pretty awesome. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Cool. And it's, then like Peyton Manning was like leading the way on, you know. Dude, it's so sick, It dude. was, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It's nice to have an alma mater like that. So dude. yeah, it was like fun. I'm like, yeah, this is this is great. I love this. The stadium gets together like that, dude. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's fun. Bro. Yeah, and like they were doing it outside oh. at college game day and. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, that's rad. Then you just fucking win and steal a goal post. Yeah. Let's go. Tennessee Volunteers. Good work. Loving it. I don't know I if know. I have some University of Tennessee fans, but shout out to you guys. Hell yeah. Go, yeah. go Vols, as they say. Let's go Vols, baby. And we're going to be in Memphis, too. We're cruising out. Nashville. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yeah, Nashville. Yeah, yeah, yeah we will be Sick. in Nashville on uh, November 16th. It's a Wednesday night. Let's go, baby. So, yeah, Hump looking day. forward to that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Aaron, how about some uh, YouTube comments? Hell yeah. Yeah, I didn't make that joke when I was recording episode 69, but I was thinking it. Yeah. Well, you have a whole a whole take on the temperature of 69. Yeah, it's a great temperature. Is, yeah. yeah. It's very true. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Zach Shepard says, uh, you got to have Ron Berger on. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm, he's he would great. be a great guest to have on. Yeah, I've talked about him on this podcast. He's brilliant. Robbie brilliantly would be done, great. right? Yeah. I met him. I met him. We met him in Austin. We met him in Austin. We great had a great guy. time. Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. Uh, your guest suggestions. Someone suggested your grandma, and then people 
responded with uh, shortest episode ever. Yeah, Grandma would be a great guest, but yeah, it would be a one minute episode because <laughs> she hangs up fast. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, T, yeah, T. Allen. Yeah, I don't know that guy. Yeah. This is good, sounds like a good fan out there. I love it, dude. Uh, Tim Allen, tool time, dude. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Tim Allen listens yeah, to That's awesome. Go. I love that, dude. Freaking badass. Yeah. And then that. Eddie uh, <laughs> Castaneda says, question for you all. What is your go-to post-softball game meal? Now, that's a great question. Uh, it starts with a beer. Yes. Uh yeah, probably some pizza. I mean, we joined, we had pizza that one time, didn't we? We tried to go to BJ's, then we went to Barney's. Yeah, t- yeah. Typically, uh, yeah, any variation of pizza, wings, beer, and burgers. Yes. Other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip- yeah. I typically go for wings or pizza after softball games with beers. Yeah, that's the that's the go to. Dude, was so dank. Bro. Oh, yeah. D- yeah, we went bro. for uh, Aaron's birthday. Not, oh, yes, dude. Last week. Happy birthday, Aaron. Aaron, happy B day, dude. And uh, yeah, he had the Pazuki. We went to BJ's. It's the cookie with the ice cream. Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah, one of the best things ever. And Aaron just manhandled it. Yeah, that's right. Exactly, <laughs> right. Yeah, he did. Exactly. Yeah, because there was like eight of us. He brought a spoon for everybody. And Aaron goes, no, one spoon. Amazing. Takes dude. it down. Which is the classic dad joke, but Aaron goes, I am a dad, and that's no fucking joke. No, but bro. also, it's like eight softball players were like dirty. Yeah, we're all just going to take a little dainty spoon. We're all just going to, what are we going to huddle around him? And I'm going to come over Aaron's shoulder and scoop. Yeah, no. <laughs> that wrong, uh, wrong group to... Yeah, we're not doing all that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And separate the tabs while you're at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's seven cards and one dude's paying with Apple Pay. Take yeah. the phone. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, history of Dank commented, episode 69. Love it. Oh, Let's go, sweet. baby. Dude, thanks for the comment. By the way, that thanks love it lot. was for 69. I was in my mind, I was thinking of. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> When I hey. commented that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Hang on, I'm counting somebody and counting. Uh, okay, so Drew Pinnell commented 23 times. Cool what? Stuff. He did. He wrote cool stuff 23 times. What? <laughs> That's All right. awesome, dude. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, it is cool stuff, Drew. That's great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for listening and watching yeah and that's michael jordan's number he probably did that because he knows you're an mj guy whoa oh yeah i just saw that one uh <laughs> yeah they're they're cool yeah i i don't mind them i like cats i don't uh i don't think i would want one as a pet Particularly, but uh, yeah, I like cats. Yeah, they're, cats fa- are cool. they're fine. Someone else's cat's pretty cool. I like big <laughs> Yeah, like, that's kind of what I'm. I like big cats. You know, I'd like to get into magic and pyrotechnics. and. Yeah, I like you know, big cat. Yeah. James Williams he used to be a lineman for the Bears. Let's go. I'd like my sexuality to be defined by big cats. I'd like someone to think of me as a. You know, a tiger in the sack or something like that. Yeah, I mean, like or that. A bob, or maybe an ocelot. Yeah, that's right. Bobcat when I dart. All right, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. This has been a good episode. Oh this yeah, there was great. one. I, there was one other note I, I wanted to add. Is when I I take a ah oh, shit. I took a lift here, guys. I read all those comments with my mic off. You wait. Oh, with your mic off? Yeah. Oh, I'm damn. Dead. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. So what's going to happen? Uh, they won't hear it. Or will they pick it up back there? I don't even know if it'll... Maybe just read them, I guess. I don't know. No, it's fine. Fuck. Sorry. All right, no worries. It's okay. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron, 
Guess what? You're an old man now, dude. <laughs> nah, <laughs> dude. Just elbow dropped you, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I just wanted to say really quick, like when, so I'm in the lift and I sit on the, on the one side. When you click the seat belt, like, you know, there's the middle seat belt thing and then there's the one, like if I put it in the middle, why isn't it, it won't click in. Yeah, it It's like, out. I know it's the wrong one, but it should still work. And then I... It takes me a minute to figure out that it's in the wrong one. Like, why wouldn't it still click in? Like, if I'm the only one in the car. Yeah, it's unbelievable. All right, whatever. You want to know why? Because when probably, I say it, it's in my notes. No, it's not. Like, and I like that you have integrity to your notes. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now that fucking probably what happened was some asshole sued a car company. Probably someone got hurt in an accident, sued, and now car companies adjusted and re are reacting to the almighty dollar. And they go, now we're just going to make that. Because they're like, oh, probably someone was like, it was clicked into the wrong one. That should not be allowed. Yeah. That's why this person got hurt. And it's like, no, there was a whole accident that went yeah. on. Yeah. And so now that's the pro that's what it's how things move forward in our society. All right. Yeah, it makes sense. Cynical of me, but you know what? Sometimes that's how that's just my theory. Yeah. Or there's a right. prankster. There's a prankster working who's just you know <laughs> switching them out. Just uh, there's some guy who's a sick fuck. <laughs> Every time going, I'm so happy that this pisses people off. Yeah does piss people off because I'm clicking in a seatbelt. No one else is in the car. Yeah. It's like, yeah, if there's two of us and someone's in the middle, they'll be like, oh, wait, that's mine. But if I'm alone... Or when you get into a car with someone, like three adults in the backseat. It's too many adults in the backseat, but sometimes you got to do it. And, like, someone won't, like, lean to help you buckle up. Like, someone gets theirs and they're like, ah, I'm good. Yeah, just and got it's got like, ass hey. cheek on it. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, hey, dickhead, can I, can I buckle myself yeah. too? <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. Well, yeah, it must be a safety issue if the, the strain of, like, if it... Probably, like, yeah, mathematically. Or right. Like, yeah, if there's, like, crash. All right. Yeah, I think that's it, man. Dude, that, this is that's great. The, yeah, that's the episode. Yeah, it was. this was, yeah, fun. Pleasure to have you on. Pleasure's all mine, dude. Honored. I want to come back, and I want you back on History is Dank. Yeah, and we, we got to get you on Joe Code, and someone buy Joe a ticket. Yeah, I'm already on Joe Code. What am I saying? You, going deep. My, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I got going get, deep. Yeah, going deep. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, all right. Yeah, Strider Wilson. Thanks a lot for coming on, dude. Thank this you, bro. This was awesome, man. So sick. Um, all right, everybody. Yeah, that's it for this episode of Joe Code. Thanks a lot. Uh, please remember like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are just a few away. I'm like at. 994 i think we're six subscribers away from a thousand nice subscribers let's get there and then let's just keep going so please subscribe to the youtube join the patreon email me keep watching and listening uh all right thanks a lot everybody this is joe code and i'm joe marisi nice dude that was rad